Peace and blessings, y'all. So if you watch video number 69, the Oh No video, then you know that I had a lot of footage that I had recorded during Ramadan that I wanted to share with you all, but unfortunately, I accidentally deleted it, and when I tried to get it back, a lot of the files were corrupted. Well, this is part of a file that I was able to save, and I wanted to share with you all because I thought it was pretty funny. During Ramadan, I created these Ramadan cards where I shared a verse of the Quran and gave my thoughts on it. So that's what I was doing here in the video and I was being serious but for some reason my husband felt the need to be extra. So take a look, you'll see what I mean. So I'm just sitting here, my baby just got home, and I'm about to read the Ramadan card to you all for day 22. So I am reading from Surah, or chapter 97, Ayah, or verses 1 through 5. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, a'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim Verily we have sent it down in the night of Al-Qadr. And what will make you know what the night of Al-Qadr is? The night of Al-Qadr is better than a thousand months. Therein descend the angels and the ruh by Allah's permission with all decrees. Peace until the appearance of dawn. And then what I say about this is during these final ten nights of Ramadan, standing and praying in the hours before dawn is not an easy feat, but it is surely worth it. To ensure that we don't miss the night of divine decree, let's make our way to the mosque every morning for those blessed near 3 a.m. prayers. If you have yet to experience it, please do. The feeling is unexplainably beautiful. Here's a great dua to recite during this time. O oh Allah, you are pardoning and you love to pardon, so pardon me. And the transliteration is, Allahumma inaka afun tuhibul afwa fa fu'an. Amin. Um, Leilatul Qadr, is, it, it means the night of divine decree, and it's a night that occurs during the last 10 nights of Ramadan. Now, um, based on hadith um, or uh, prophetic sayings, it's supposed to occur during one of the um, odd number nights during the last 10 nights. But with the differences between the Gregorian and the lunar calendar and some people starting Ramadan one day and some people starting in the next. I just I feel like it's safe to just seek it during every single night during the last 10 nights so that you don't miss it. Um, it's something that you want to definitely catch um, and it's also believed that if you are praying or worshiping Allah um, on this night uh, during a certain time then all of your previous sins will be forgiven. Um, and it's not to say that if you, you know, if you miss it, if you don't pray only that the Prophet that your sins won't be forgiven because that's also one of the purposes of Ramadan. So it's just like an, an extra, you know, an extra thing that you can do. Um, and I think the, uh, the mystery of it is awesome because nobody really knows exactly when it is. And even if you pray on all the last 10 nights, you, um, you know, you don't know exactly which night it was. So you just kind of go with the flow. So I think that's pretty cool. But, um. Yeah, so when you guys see us going to the mosque early in the morning and stuff like that, that's what we're doing. We're seeking Layla to Yeah, babe? Yes, that's what we are doing. <laughs> Do you... Every night for 10 days. I just be talking and talking and talking. Do you want to say anything? <laughs> Peace, love, and light. <laughs> Y'all, they be trying to mock me, you know? Cause, I'm you know, Peace, at the, love, and light. Because at the end of the videos, I always say, peace, blessings, love, and light. Oh, so blessings. I forgot to bless. Peace, goes, blessing, love, and light. So he goes around the house, like, mocking me. He's like, oh, no, no, peace, love, and light. Peace, love, and light. It's so funny. But anyway, how was your fasting today, babe? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> babe. It was good. Not as, not as hard as yours. Uh, yeah. But mashallah, it was, it was pretty good. Yeah. So usually around 5, 6 o'clock, that's when it gets easier for me. But it gets closer to time. Okay. Yeah, my fasting today, um, I think the light just went out, but we're still recording, so it might be a little dark. You may not see me, I apologize. <laughs> I need to charge it. But um, my fasting today, y'all, was, it was no joke. It was it was really difficult. Um, I, I didn't even know if I was going to make it all the way through, but thank God I did. So, um, so yeah, that's going to end tonight's vlog. Um, I'll start tomorrow's vlog with us going to the mosque. Yes, inshallah, with us going to the mosque. Um, in the morning to 2.33 a.m. or what have you. So thanks for watching. Peace, blessing, God be with you. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>